Dear shareholder, uh, welcome to our annual general meeting uh, of Alligator Bioscience AB. For the second year in a row, we are holding our AGM electronically and without the possibility to be physically present nor to meet in person at our premises. This gave us the idea to reach out to you this way, try to sum up the last 12 months of our company and also get us a chance to introduce our new Chief Executive Officer uh, to all of you out there. The last 12 months in Alligator have been characterized by a high activity level and substantial progress in most of our activity areas. We have presented preclinical as well as clinical data with very positive results and promising uh, platform to stand on for the future. We have also been able to introduce Neo X Prime, a new personalized technology platform which will enable us to develop uh, third generation antibodies in the not too distant future. Neo X Prime was also the basis for our agreement with Macrogenics, which we signed a couple of months ago, a collaborative agreement which hopefully will lead to development of new clinical candidates in the next couple of years. That is validating the strong discovery platform that Alligator stands on. But our focus clinically is now on metasalumab, which soon will enter phase two, and our ATOR 1017 project, which we also are progressing and where we will present new, hopefully very promising clinical data in June. We raised 86 million SEC net of expenses in January, 86 million that will be used to um, further the process with metasalumab in the phase two indication of pancreatic cancer, which we are now targeting. Another thing that has um, happened in the past couple of months is that we have made a couple of changes or alterations or additions to our management team. We've appointed a new chief medical officer and we have appointed a new CFO, but most of all, we also appointed a new chief executive officer. So here with me today, I have Søren Weinholt, who um, is joining us and will start effectively 1st of June uh, in his new role as uh, Chief Executive Officer of Alligator Bioscience. I'll leave the um, microphone over to Søren and he can then continue to introduce himself. Thanks, Peter. I'm uh, very excited uh, about the opportunity to take the leadership in, uh, in Alligator Bioscience. I'm very excited about the prospect of both the the clinical, preclinical pipeline uh, and the technology platform. But before I go uh, further into that, uh, I want to uh, speak a little bit about myself. I'm a Danish native that has spent the last 20 years in the international academia, biotech and pharmaceutical industry with executive roles both in companies like Symphogen, uh, Novo Nordisk and uh, most recently a UK-based biotech company. Those 20 years have allowed me to work uh, across the entire biotech pharma value chain, both operationally and strategically. It has given me experience in executing business development deals and managing uh, collaborative alliances like the one that, that Peter mentioned with Macrogenics uh, and other companies. It has given me a broad uh, international network across uh, finance institutions, uh, investors, academia and also pharma, and, and maybe most importantly had given me an international leadership uh, <clears throat> experience with focus on operational excellence, uh, execution and, uh, and value generation. I look very much forward to start working in Alligator Pharma on the short notice to ensure that we initiate our phase two trial with Mitasalumab uh, in pancreatic cancer and ensure that we operationalize that study and execute it uh, to the highest standard. I also look forward to, in connection with ASCO uh, <clears throat> later this week, to present data on 1017, our 41 bb agonist uh, phase one uh, clinical trial. On a little bit longer horizon, I look forward to working with uh, the very strong team in Alligator Pharma. I look forward to working with our partners 
uh, across these six partnerships that Peter mentioned. And I look really much forward to start oper operationalizing our clinical and preclinical pipeline uh, and building and extracting the value that it really deserves. Since accepting the role, I have slowly started working with, uh, alligator, with the Alligator team. And I must say that those months have really reinforced me and reconfirmed me in my view that the company possess a very strong pipeline, a very strong technology platform, and not the least, a very, very strong team. And I'm very, very confident that we, over the years to come, will continue to build and strengthen the organization, develop the pipeline, and build the value in Alligator Pharma that the company, the patients, and not the least you as shareholders deserve. So thank you very much. Thank you, Søren. As we are now rounding off uh, our little session here today, I wish to take the opportunity to thank you all for your continued support over the years. I'm handing over uh, my position as chairman of Alligator Bioscience, and I do that in the firm belief that we are at the cusp of a great and uh, profitable period in the company's development. We are embarking on the next part of the journey, and uh, we do that with a high degree of optimism, having um, performed many positive changes over the past uh, period, and I think that you as shareholders will benefit from those changes in the future ahead of us. Thank you very much.